All right, I recently switched from the old gate valve to the butterfly valve. And the reason for it, because the stainless steel version of this is $1,500. You can get it for $850 of the steel body, and they are not rebuildable, which is ridiculous. They are junk. Yeah, they work okay for a little bit, but uh, you can see somewhat these handles are horrible. I'm trying to do this one hand. You open them up, you see I got some stones and stuff down in there. But uh, let me close it up a little bit. You can see it. You see the edges right there. You hit those little stone or something right in there. They're done already. They leak. Trash. Not worth a dollar in my book. Crazy. This one here is a Betts. They make multiple different kinds. Okay. Off to the trash you go. This valve is a butterfly. Relatively cheap. The valve itself was $100. I just ordered from Pickwright the adapter piece uh, this new adapter here I got tape here to hold my heated uh, heated wire but uh, that's not to cover any leaks or anything up just to hold the wire but this part here is somewhat expensive but well worth it I have over about $650 wrapped up in everything but I got extra things besides the valve I got a new six inch new cap because uh, my old one was leaking really bad and uh, it was just time for a change and they did a very good job they did a very very good job real thick flange um, now I turned on my vac yesterday after I did this and got some suction to make sure I could all these were tight you know I just give it another quick torque but uh, let's see if she's got anything else left in her it's been about 10 hours Yep, yep, she's still got some suction to her. Now let me pause you and I'll show you the difference between these two. Alright, now you can see why they call it a butterfly. It's got a big rubber piece around the edge here. It's like a rubberish hard plastic. And as you see, it seals really good. <sighs> Did a lot of maintenance this tank to make it nice and sealed the whole way around but uh you get a rock in it you know and it'll stop you but it's not going to chip away the metal or anything you can only have so much leverage with this one before uh you know the resistance so yeah it's definitely better you got a straight bore the whole way through uh, you do too on the gate valve, but the gate valve's a piece of shit. I wrapped some heat wire around. You know, I can't really get the end of this end here down in between this part. Just too big, so I just did what I did. I gotta put the rest of my, this stuff on. This was on previously, I had to take it all off to replace everything. So I just rewrapped the, this is a guarantee you're stuff won't freeze. I was in negative uh, negative 20 degrees in Vermont and never had a problem with my tank freezing when I put this on. And it goes all the way up to up underneath. But that's besides the point. I'm just talking about the valve itself. Good valve. Well worth the investment. I think the valve, this part here uh, was only around 400 or something. It's a lot better than 800 Something for that Betts gate valve. I don't know. I like it. I'm happy. It didn't take much to uh, replace either. You know, the main thing it took time was to clean the old aluminum flange and trying to get that old uh, sunbitch off. But other than that, it works pretty good.